the video will show how to test ignition coils and uh, what a great trick to check your coils. So I found this out from one of the RF900 forum members. He knows those bikes in and out. Anyway, so the way you would do it is you need a multimeter and uh, you'll be checking both the primary and the secondary windings. So to check the primary windings, you're gonna have to grab your sticks and touch it here, both of those coming out from the coils. So there's one here and one underneath. So you would literally touch it. And now let's have a look how to set up your multimeter. So the red wire goes to ohms. You can see ohms sign here. The black wire goes to com. And then you're gonna have to specify uh, the resistance range. So for the primary side, you're expecting between 2.4 and 3.2 ohms, so not a lot. So therefore you're gonna go next number up, which on that scale here, the blue scale, is 200. So set it up to 200 ohms, which is the next step up. All you gotta do now is turn your multimeter on. And let's see, so we're looking for between 2.4 up to 3.2 ohms. Let's see what we've got. There we go. We've got 3.1. So that means that primary winding on that coil is okay. All right then, so let's test the secondary windings. So for that, you're gonna need both caps taken out. So this is the coil that powers uh, cylinders two and three. So I've got both caps here. And all you've got to do is change the readings on uh, this multimeter from 200 to 200 kilo ohms. And we're expecting between 30 and 40 kilo ohms and what you're doing now you're simply sticking the ends into those caps and let's have a look what we come out with there we go 35 kilo ohms which is right in the middle of the specification they say you would have to take your coils out of the motorcycle to de-energize them but as you can see I've done it with the coils in the bike ideally you would have your bike cold because what I found out is having the coils tested right after running the readings will be a bit higher and that's how we do it. Right folks, another great little test which won't cost you any money for your RF motorcycle is testing the ignition signal generator. To perform that, you're going to have to locate the white plug, which looks like this, and has two wires going through it, one green, one black. Then unplug it and using that portion and then you're setting up your readings for resistance which is that blue section here and because our expected resistance for that particular plug is between 135 and 200 ohms you're gonna set it to 200 now the test in itself is pretty simple so let's turn our multimeter on and remember, what we're looking for is between 135 and 200 ohms. Okay, so what I'm getting is about 170, which is within the specifications. That means my components are all good. Another good test for Suzuki RF motorcycles is testing the output of your charging system. In other words, testing the alternator. This is good especially for people owning later models of RF. Those later models have alternator with a rubber coupler. Which likes to fail. If it fails, then the engine doesn't drive the alternator anymore, meaning you've got no charge. So the way you would test it is, you would set your multimeter a red cable to volts and ohms, black cable to com, and then you would change your settings to direct current, which is that V with those symbols here. And you would specify the range of 20 volts. And then you would start your motorcycle, apply throttle, so you have about 5,000 RPM. And holding your throttle at 5,000 RPM, you would then test the voltage on the battery. And the reading that you want for healthy charging system is more than 13.5 volts. So let's have a look what we've got on mine. 